वेलकम आर पैनलिस्ट जोरदार तालियों से स्वागत कीजिए डेजी शाह करण कुंद्रा सोनाली सैगल एंड क्रिस्टल डिसोजा Aina, the floor is all yours. Please start the session, and our uh, guest would be joining us soon. Wow. So, first of all, hello everyone. I'm Aina. I'm going to give you a little introduction. Uh, today, we're going to speak about, uh, you know, how these fabulous actors here have helped the industry and broken stereotypes and limitations of medium. Because I think uh, OTT ke pehle to humne kafi traditional medium dekha tha, and how. एक टिपिकल वे में चीज़ें चल रही थी पर आज ओ के बाद अ लॉट हैज चेंज एंड सो मच हैज चेंज दैट वी आर गेटिंग टू सी दीज ब्यूटिफुल एक्टर्स डू वट दे डू एंड दैट्स डेजी हेलो वेलकम प्लीज येस वी वो चिलिंग बैक स्टेज प्लीज हैव अ सीट टाइम सोनाली कम्स वी कैन गेट स्टार्टेड एट लीस्ट विद आर शो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क एज एक्टर्स uh do you think after ott has come in the picture you know you always have that insecurity yaar mera agla kaam kab aayega kyunki ye field itna unpredictable hai but do you feel like because of ott you not only feel like there's work opportunity but you're going to be satisfied as a as an artist that okay i know i'm getting going to get good work my way oh, me first <laughs> Okay um yes of course i think there are so many uh, it's so wide right now like there's so many um different kind of shows that are being made and on more uh, realistic uh, topics so uh, i come from tv where you know things were pretty similar and very long term so uh, it's like short term uh, projects that are being made storytelling that is so crisp and uh, yet um like for ott shows you can explain a character you can explain a story over multiple seasons over multiple episodes justify a character how they are why they are like that so i honestly feel like yes there are more opportunities and uh, because you are shooting just for like 40 days for a show or something like that you can do multiple shows in a year yeah yeah no absolutely but i think sonali is here so she's going to join us hello Karan Susan Ali thank you for joining us uh, we were talking about how today uh, after OTT coming in the picture uh, as actors jo insecurity rehti hai ki mujhe mera agla kaam kab milega wo kahin na kahin kam hua hai because work opportunities have definitely increased more Karan oh uh, i think i'll go back to the basics here uh, you know we are from tv and the kind of tv that we've done um I think what OTT has done is it's uh, helped us break the stereotype of TV actors. It's it's a level playing, uh, you know, it's a it's a leveling field for us. Um, it was very difficult uh, to transition from TV to films, and it's pretty out there. But with OTT, we got that chance. So it's it's the, the, that's the basic thought behind it. Um, about work security, I would actually say that. television has more work security uh because as 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 crystal said that it takes ages to shoot a television show and uh, once you've made it on television man when i when i say made it when when the audience has accepted you there's there's so much work because i mean look at the amount of television channels and everything and um, that's 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 stability wise but uh, of course uh, with ott you can choose uh, which way you want to go and uh, your audience also likes it because you are shown in a very different light really? otherwise um, very few shows on television actually dare to do something different because aap kuch different karne jaate the trp nahi aati thi to phir ek mahasangam episode aa jata tha <laughs> you know aur uh, ya phir uh, agar aap kuch kuch aur kar rahe ho nagin chal raha hai to aapka show bhi supernatural ban jata tha so yeah there's a there's a lot of freedom I, I, and that's happened <laughs> so there is a lot of freedom because on ott uh, the you choose what i am feeling like today like as i said if i am feeling like dubai bling i'm going to go watch dubai bling so dubai bling does not have to cater to my mood here right so television that's not there you, if if 8:30 a certain type, type of a program is coming that is what you get to watch so we are we used to be very 
uh, you know, tied down with what is expected out of, uh, you know, our show. And uh, so I think for that matter, thank God OTT happened. And, uh, you know, our, our followers, our people who like us, they got to see us in a very different light, which would have been very difficult because it's not easy to get into films. Mm. Oh, very well said. What about you, Deepu? What's your take? Well, I feel OTT is like, it caters to every kind of audience. Uh, and when we talk about TV or movies, yeah, the, the gap when we say, oh, yeah, TV is hai, yeah, movie is you know, it doesn't come across in a good way. But I personally feel OTT is that bridge where, you know, both side ke actors, they come together, work together, you know, there's no superiority complex or there's minority complex, nothing is there. And as I said, it caters to every audience, which means, and it is according to their choice. They don't have to wait like how like I know my mom she is crazy behind certain shows and she's like Nahi, aaj mera. but now because OTT is coming she's like Haan, main ko dekh lungi. Mujhe yeah. problem hai. Yeah. so yeah, yeah. So that is something which OTT has done it's it's broken that barrier for everybody where uh, office going people there were certain shows which they like to see but unke time pe nahi aata tha. then they had to wait for weekend taki wo repeat telecast aa sake ye wo. so OTT has made this I think spoiled for choice that's the word no, I absolutely agree with you and I think it's a lot of convenience also yeah. uh, that it has gotten into our lives. What about you, Sonali? You know, I was sitting here and actually thinking that these whole lines of key TV, like you said, TV actor, OTD actor, and it's so beautifully blurred that I was sitting here and thinking OTT, TV, and I could not come up with a tag for any of, any of you. Because I was like, yeah, huh, but isne bhi ye kiya hai, but isne bhi ye kiya hai, but maine bhi ye kiya hai, you know, so, which is so beautiful. Because I'm anyway not someone who believes in labeling people, period. So actors to bahut dur ki baat hai. So I think it's great. That is the best, best thing that we don't have labels. We are all actors. And this also includes theater and stage actors as well. Uh, so, which is great, and for us, I mean, personally, I can just speak for myself, opportunities to definitely barti hain. Uh, is tarah se barti hain ki aap kai baar realize nahi karte ho, aapne shoot to film ki hai, but wo a OTT pe rahi hai, phir aapko yaad karna padta hai ki, oh, ye theatrical pe aai thi, nahi nahi, but ye theater pe nahi aai thi, sirf OTT pe aai thi, so, itna, malab, dimag mein ek beautiful sa confusion ho gaya hai. So, and sometimes you actually hope ki wo theater pe na aaye, sirf wo OTT pe aaye. <laughs> Not because the film is bad, because yeah. in between the business unfortunately became so sad that, you know, you were hoping ki nahi, at least log dekhe to. And there are enough examples of that. I think, like Lapata Ladies is an example of that, right? What a film, what a film. Lekin, uh, Theatres pay, I guess it could not do the kind of business which I'm sure it deserved much, much more. And look at the film now and how well it did on ODD. I myself saw it on, on, um, on the platform. Yeah, and after my mother told me. So, uh, I think it's great. And the biggest takeaway from this is that, yes, the lines have blurred and beautifully so. Oh, absolutely. Stereotypes have been broken though. But uh, coming to that, I want to understand completely actors POV in a very honest manner right now that even though we have advanced so much over the years, do you still feel that there is stereotyping happening somewhere still strongly, maybe within the industry? Because if you test a role or audition, still you see makers be like, oh no, he's done such roles. We wouldn't know that POV, we want to understand what happens inside. I think as actors, that's, I think more than, uh, it was that no, they do film, they don't ask TV or OTT, if it's not happening now, it's definitely happening now. Yeah, um, like I was, I, I feel still somewhere stuck in the I was, I feel somewhere still, but for the long, it's better now, but for the longest time, I was not offered anything which is not glamorous. मतलब इतना ज़्यादा कि मुझे मेरे glamorous अवतार से चिढ़ मच गई थी कि क्यों and um, so it took me it took me a while to accept that about me but it also takes the industry and then the audience a while to accept कि oh this person 
कैन डू दिस ऑल्सो बट उसके लिए अपॉर्चुनिटी तो मिलनी चाहिए ना वेयर इज द अपॉर्चुनिटी इफ समन गुनो स्टीरो टाइप मी एंड पुट मी इन अ ब्रैकेट लाइक दिस हैपन विद मी वन आई स्टार्ट इट बिकॉज आई वॉज अ मिस इंडिया आई मॉडल प्यार का पंचनामा वन वॉज अ ग्लैमरस रोल टू वॉज अ ग्लैमरस रोल सो आई डिड नॉट गेट एनी रोल्स विच वर नॉट ग्लैमरस एंड इट टुक मी अ वाइल जय मम्मी दी वॉज एन अटेम्प्ट टू सॉर्ट ऑफ ब्रेक दैट तो धीरे 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 वो होता है बट आई फील वो है वो वो स्टीरो टाइपिंग है एंड इफ यू गेट वेरी लकी वेन यू गेट दैट पार्ट कि इसमें आई कैन ब्रेक दैट आई फील एज एक्टर्स इट्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी देन टू ग्रैब इट दिस ऑल्सो ओवर एक्सपोजर एंड सो यू नो इफ यू इफ यू गो टू दैट साइड वेर इफ समी इज ट्राइंग टू मेक अ प्रोजेक्ट एंड दे से दैट ओके लेट्स यू नो कमिंग बैक टू द क्वेश्चन whether i want to have an an actor who's uh been seen so much be it on tv shows be it on uh, you know reality shows or even for that matter getting packed too much makes a difference because you have to understand that if there's a massive project going on and if you're too exposed audiences are not going to look at you and be excited and say ki oh my god is is ki film aa rahi hai you know what i mean and that does you know play a factor so when cert- certain people want a certain image or a, or a certain type of an actor uh and that is important for the project then you do get rejected also overexposure is a problem um sometimes it's an image i remember when alankrita shrivastav uh, she was making uh, dolly kitty aur ye chamakte sitare um i played uh, dj uh, gujjar in that film but uh, when i went and started uh, talking about you know i want to be a part of this film they were a little apprehensive and they made me understand why and i i totally agreed with the, with the point but you know they said okay i'll give you one or two uh, you know uh, auditions or look tests or whatever it is i made sure that i was a part of the film you know so that is so sometimes you again you know they they've seen a uh, a different image of yours main roadies pe kya kar raha hu to yahan kya karega you know what i mean like one place you're looking at me uh, and doing this or for for whatever you you remember me for and uh, it's very difficult for them to place you so if it is it, if it is difficult for them to place you how will the audience who really follows you for this character place you in a you know fantastically new character and then also get convinced by it so i i don't i don't think uh, you know sometimes when they say it sounds a little you know problematic but i i get it i get why that happens you have to break that again stereotype yeah. and make sh- make sure that you you know are a part of it but yeah i agree with sonali as well you know that uh, they they label arishi is too glamorous yeah. you know and that that is again i i i i totally believe that that's a problem that happened with me from the first movie itself from jai ho yeah. um i was like I was made to do hate story to break that barrier because everybody thought that I'll be only doing bhenji roles because yeah. the play uh, the girl that I played in that movie was the girl next door Correct. right where she was like very coy and all that but then I had to do hate story but after doing hate story I started getting offers of such movies I was like I don't want to do that <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, the yeah. thing is that they start seeing you in that bracket and suddenly you start getting offered for such kind that's of roles so say no that's not the case it's just that we are trying to show our versatility as an actor ke hum ye bhi kar sakte hai ye bhi kar sakte hai ye bhi kar sakte hai kyunki hum actors hai yeah 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 i've had uh, uh, you know something very funny but i've i've been told tu gareeb nahi dikhta kya kare i was like ye koi what do you mean main dikh jaunga yaar But yeah, that happens. But I do feel like the makers, production houses, and creatives have become more uh, inclusive, yeah. and they have become more experimental. Yeah. Uh, because uh, I know, f- coming from like uh, television and then OTT, to be picked up for an OTT film like Visfort, where I had to break the TV image and then break the glamorous woman image and then get into a garib dongri ki ladki image. You know, it's. very different characters but uh, they took a test they gave me that fair sh- shot so i feel like people have become more inclusive like or oh, hats off to sanjay gupta hats off to kuki gulati like they really believe that an actor's job is to blend in to be versatile and uh, you have to like up your game to prove them right 
and um, I feel like I'm blessed. We get like these amazing opportunities to prove it time and again. So I would grab every opportunity that came to me. That's lovely. But you know, on the contrary, I'd also like to know, uh, I've spoken to a lot of actors who also keep mentioning about uh, how, you know, the treatment is not the same. Uh, if you're coming from a different medium, do you ever face that? Because they do mention that Kabhi na kabhi we do feel there's a glass if we are coming from television or if we are working with a film actor. Do you feel like there's a difference in the treatment because you're coming from television or a certain other medium? Mujhe nahi lagta. I feel like it's all in your mind and um, you feel it yourself most of the time than anybody making you feel like that. So, uh, I, I, as an actor, I don't need much, like I don't need like this extra um, cushioning feeling and all of that. I go to a set to perform, to give my best and uh, I don't need those extra baskets in my vanity and stuff like that. <laughs> so, I'm good without it. So, it's, I feel like it's in your mind and if you ask for things, it will be done. I mean, if you're too scared to ask, it's not going to happen. So it's not different treatment. It's just what different people require on a set. Like um, a lot of people have like certain needs to feel a certain way. And um, I don't, maybe other people do. And they get it because they ask for it and they want it. I don't want it. So it's all in your head, according to me. What about you guys? Anyone's ever faced a different sort of treatment? No, but I know what you're saying in the sense like I know of people who faced it. And uh, I 100% agree with Crystal. I really think like what you feel yeah. is what you reflect, you know. But having said that, ye jo hota hai na, that happens. But it happens because those people are just like stupid people, the ones who do it, right? And it has nothing to do with the actor. It happens because they are bad people. If you know what I mean, I'm just using very, very like mild words because they are bad people. Unko etiquettes nahi pata hai. Ya wo, some people just love to throw their weight around. Some AD will want to throw their weight around. Some people love to people please because they think ki, oh, ye senior actor hai, to inko hum thoda acha treatment karte hai. But ye upar se kahi se nahi aata hai. Ye wahi pe banaye wai cheeze hai. But that's, I mean, I don't even think it needs a discussion. They, they're just people who don't know etiquettes and manners. Yeah. More than that, I feel like the reason why I'm speaking also over here is because I've worked with one of the biggest production houses and I've also done TV, okay? Now what happens because of Khatro? In Khatro, you're not treated like a celebrity, okay? Because we are contestants there. You have to sit with, you know, the other contestants. You have to sit there, have your food on the same table and everything. So you're not going to get that celebrity treatment there. You need to be prepared here. Just because you have done one project in one of the biggest production houses, you were pampered there. You need to understand that, that I am doing something else, here I am doing something, I cannot be expecting that treatment here and cannot be expecting this treatment there. Karan, you wanted to add something. I, it's been the opposite. I've, I've been treated really well on film sets. <laughs> I, think, I think it's just Karan Kundra, the way he is. I've been very fortunate to have worked with uh, really beautiful people. In fact, uh, I remember uh, people saying that this is a TV, this will eat you. You know, and these are big directors saying this to decent people and it is all a joke. So I worked with the best people. I'm, I'm very fortunate that way. But that gets me to a question. Do you feel that, you know, you guys, aap sabke ghar pe aaye ho, you know, at prime times, you'll have had dinner with us. Like, it's amazing. Do you feel like there's always an advantage of the huge fan base that you will take no matter which medium you are from? And it's the characters that people remember more than anything. Absolutely, absolutely. When you go for promotions, I mean, aajkal itna film promotions are not about going on ground and everything. I mean, big, big people do. But um, it definitely is an advantage uh, because, uh, because we have done so many things and you don't know where, who knows you from. Yeah. You know, somebody will know you from a, a show that you did 10 years ago. Somebody will know you because of the reality shows that you've done. You've touched them in, in certain ways and that gets added to the project that you are a part of now. Because, it, you know, you have a bigger reach. I mean, I'm not saying comparatively. I'm just saying, kahin na kahin kuch na kuch pohunch jata hai. Agar aap kuch daalte ho, ya aap kisi ko, kisi cheez ko promote karte ho, ya aap, uh, you know, you go to a mall to promote, 
you know, so it, it, it does make a difference. I also feel like two years ago, when you do a TV show, you are in the morning at 8 o'clock, you are in people's living room, having dinner with them. So you never know who's watched what when. Yeah. So you are a part of their daily uh, life. Also, when your mom came up to me and said that, oh, I've watched your show, I was expecting a TV show. And then she said an OTT show, and I was like, wow, you know, OTT is out there. But a lot of people still call me Jivika, and I do respond because it's a part of me and it's a part of them as well. And it's not just our country, by the way. There are so many other countries that our shows have gone. They've been dubbed and they've reached there, and they call us different characters when yeah. they. And it's, it's yeah. Before I, I open the floor, I want to ask you guys, uh, do you all enjoy sort of uh, shooting a series because you get so much time with your character or are you the kind of people who you are like shooting short format films and that goes on a few months and then no, there's no season two or anything of that sort that's happening? Relevant of whatever, what project you're shooting, whether it's series or a movie, you should never forget as an actor that you're living that character for those many days, okay? So it's, it's not, uh, the duration, it's the journey from point A to point B. Yeah. That's what I personally feel. For me, it doesn't matter whether I'm uh, shooting a series for 7 days, 10 days, 15 days, or I'm shooting a movie for 40 days, or I'm doing a short film for 3 days, which I've done. So, okay. Anyone else? Yeah, I mean, actually when you're working, you kind of forget, right, that if you don't remember the medium. Yeah. Even for an OTT, 15-20 days ka hota hai. Yeah, film mein 30 din ka hoga, kai bar 20 din ka hota hai. Like my recent film that uh, I did for OTT, I had 10, 12 days of work, but it was a film. And uh, uh, yeah, you, you kind of forget the medium. Once you're on set, episodes, thodi na, we, don't, we anyway don't shoot episode wise, ki aaj episode one, episode two. You're shooting the entire script. Uh, I, I'd seen this one little clip of uh, this beautiful actor, Smita Jaikar. I'm sure we all know her. And she had said something very nice because when I Kali Deka, so I remember. And she said that Abhi, I only want to do work for OTT or films because I don't want to work 30 din, 40 din, matlab, idam at stretch, ya mahine ke 25 din mein kaam pe ja rahi hu. Mujhe thode thode kaam karne because my age or whatever doesn't permit it. And I found that amazing because in, 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 in a film, actually I'm saying it wrong, film or OTT nahi. OTT or a theatre film, whatever, it could be a series, it could be a film, it could be a reality thing, whatever. But you are giving only that many days. So in television, I guess you have to keep shooting and shooting. So, wo to it's not about age. I don't think I can do it also. <laughs> it's like never ending. Yeah. And you don't have a crisp story. Like on OTT, in films, you know this is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end. Pe, like Karan said, it twists according to what other thing is working out, you know. If you're in there, you have to be in your show. There is no, uh, yeah, really. There is no script whatsoever. And you don't even get that much time to prep you don't feel like you're satisfied at the end of the day because you know that you know ki jaldi jaldi mein kaam kiya hai kal ka telecast hai nikalna tha you didn't get that much time to prep to perform to light for the team to direct well so i think that is the only reason i would choose to do ott films or shows then again do a tv show that's a daily soap but that's because you you you've done it you've experienced that yeah. like i always wonder that in television I always think about it that how, it must be exciting also. It's like going to office. Like every day, you know, you have to get up and you have to. Yeah, 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 but the only back. thing is, from a, from an office, you come back at five. From the TV set, you <laughs> don't come back. There's no nine <laughs> to five. Don't come back. Come back. <laughs> you're living your life in the vanity if you if you're given one because you're young. Yeah. <laughs> so before we end this, we're gonna open uh, questions to the audience, and we have a couple of them. Can we have the mic to these guys, please? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Hi. I am Sejal from KC College and my question is for Crystal ma'am. Hi. Hi. Uh, I just wanted to ask you that your off-screen bond with Manvi is as same as it has shown on-screen. <laughs> it is absolutely the same. In fact, uh, Manvi is Nia. Oh. Nia uh, Sharma. Yes. Um, so I am Jivika, she is Manvi. And uh, it is the same, we still tie Rakhi to each other and it's been uh, 12 years now 
that you know we have that sisterly bond it's more like uh, frenemies all the time like we are having our cold wars it's like friends now we live in the same building also so it's a lot of fun and the building is on fire most of the time because of nia not me and i am the uh, what do you say the extinguisher yes <laughs> i watch every episodes of ek hazaro mein meri band and i love you all thank and you can i get so much selfie? you've seen ek hazaro mein what, what? meri band i how old are you like kab kab it's on hotstar so it's, you it's can all watch it yeah acha nice ott can i can i get a selfie with you if you don't yes think? after this for sure thank you yes <laughs> hello sir hello ma'am mera naam sanjana hai You three of you are looking gorgeous. Seriously, I like to say that. <laughs> you are looking super handsome, sir. <laughs> so I have been grossly outnumbered today. आपका कोई जवाब ही नहीं आपकी आपको कोई टक्कर दे ही नहीं सकता है सर seriously. मेरे को मेरे को आपके लिए कितनी मोहब्बत है आप नहीं जानते हो. Obviously. My question is कि what have you learned from your journey and what advice would you like to give us? You. Yeah. All four of you. I think uh, that's pretty uh, subjective. Sometimes I think I have not learned anything from my journey, and sometimes I like, "Yeah, bought a car, yeah, we are top." So it's. Uh, I I think at the end of the day, um, there is there is a 360 degree growth. Okay, there is your career, there is your love life, and then there is your family and friends. It cannot be a one-sided growth. anybody who's doing really well in their careers and they don't have a good family life or they don't have a happy life doesn't make sense so at the end of the day after 15 16 years of being anywhere make sure that there is a growth in all the aspects of your life you know it's very important um don't forget that you are also a human being yeah. don't become a work horse in any line and don't be scared of taking risks and most importantly don't be scared of making mistakes because acche time aapko utna nahi sikhate hain jitne bure time sikhate hain so embrace whatever comes to you and learn from it even if you don't learn from it doesn't matter ek hi life hai <laughs> ma'am um i think uh, what i have learned is that um, keep going you know jo bhi aapko karna hai just keep working towards that brush up those skills jaise jab maine start kiya tha mujhe bilkul hindi theek se aati hi nahi thi ab i think sabse zyada hindi maine hi baat ki hai yahan pe but uh, bilkul nahi aati thi acting nahi aati thi makeup hai kuch nahi aata tha aaj sab kuch khud karke aayi hu so i feel like you know you need to ah oh, thanks <laughs> you need to keep working on those skills like if i if you, you some of you want to be director some of you want to be actors whatever you want to do you guys need to keep working towards it relentlessly do not give up there'll be a lot of hard times that you feel like now i don't think i can do it like when i was making the jump from television to ott or ott to films i felt a lot of times that you know nahi hoga nahi hoga but then you have to have that little faith and belief in yourself no matter what like if you don't believe in you nobody is going to so i think that's what i would tell each one of you believe in yourself like like crazy like you're going to make it that's what you need to keep telling yourself and believing and also take care of your mental health while all of this is happening <laughs> that too okay thank you i'm sorry i'm going to have to cut off your short on time uh, i'll just take one last question if you guys can just thank you hello so my question is to karan sir oh, so i loved laughter chefs so i wanted to ask uh, if not arjun yeah i saw you as well i loved you also <laughs> So, if not Arjun sir, then who would you like to like keep your partner as like in that show? Nia. <coughs> Nia is a brat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but she's lovely. I loved her. Everybody is lovely on that. Yeah, show. yeah. But if you've seen, हम लोग देखते हम लोग सब इधर उधर भाग रहे हैं. So it's pretty much not a, uh, not like a partner thing. We're always going everywhere. But I think I'll stick to Arjun. because uh, that's how i am ha abhi 5 minute pehle uska message aaya bhai i love you i miss you kahan hai and i'm like and i'm like ha meri girlfriend ne last ka mujhe ko ye message bheja tha arjun i love you too so i think um, no no i'll stick to that because i think i don't want to touch something which, which is perfect i don't want ali and rahul to not have a chemistry i don't want like nia and sudesh ji to you know because they're so yes, perfect with each other yeah. 
But uh, yeah, so Laughter Chef is not about partnerships. It's all, it's a, it's a, it's all of us coming together. Mm. Um, I don't think anybody knows anything about cooking over there. Um, <laughs> and we just have fun. And that is more important. Mm. Yeah. So today is the last episode. So can you tell when is the second season coming of Laughter Chef? I Chefs? will have <laughs> to. I think that will be confidential. No, I don't have to worry about it. But I don't know. I think I hope hopefully soon. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. It was absolutely lovely. But uh, we'll have to wrap this up. First of all, thank you all of you all for giving your insightful thoughts on the industry and your careers. You all have truly inspired each one of us here. And we're so glad to see everything that's coming on OTT and more in future. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Can thank you, guys. Sitting. Sorry. You guys. Um, I will just quickly button and thank them again. Can we please clap for the very, very beautiful Crystal D'Souza. We have Karan, we have Daisy, we have Sonali. We've seen them uh, on the screen. We have seen them right now in real blood and flesh. Uh, Aina, thank you so much for hosting such a, and moderating such a beautiful panel. Now, there are fun things. And in fun, you don't have to answer the question. Karan is just quickly, like he's rubbing his forehead. It's absolutely your choice. I will never force. We are in a democratic nation. Yahan pe hum azad hain. Theek hai? Crystal, pehla sawal aapke liye hai. Have you ever written a love letter to someone? Yes, I have written 101 reasons why I love you. And, uh, and uh, that was when I was 13, guys. Relax. <laughs> now, when I, and my mom found the letter recently and gave it to me. And I was like, oh no, I want... Uh, there to be a hole in the ground and I should go into it because the reasons were too silly, too silly. What, we we are would not want to know a, one or two out of the 101 reasons why I think you that's love that highly person. confidential. Listen, I'm sure <laughs> I, mean, I want pencil to know. I love I the way know, I you know. smell. I yeah. think that was one that was nice and was I still lovely. stick by like good smelling people I really like. And um, yeah, I love the way you call me Tweety. So oh sweet, my God. Tweety. I was 13, guys. Don't judge. But we can see why sh she's being called Tweety because she really looks like the Tweety bird. Okay, well, thanks. Right? <laughs> and maybe, um, yeah, I mean, and being 13 and smelling good, I think it's fantastic. Yes. Because none of us, I didn't have that child. I used to rob my mom's perfumes from her cupboard. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Karan, thank you so much, uh, Crystal, for that answer. Karan, opposites attract or similar taste matters? What is your, where do you gravitate? Personally, I think op for me, opposites work. Yeah. Yeah, because it's just so much entertainment. When I, I, I think because, <laughs> because you, don't, you don't know what's going to happen next. Because if I'm, uh, the way I handle situations, it'll, yeah, I know this is going to happen. But it's, then something completely different happens. And yeah. For the five, first five seconds, I'm only reacting. I'm just, what, what just happened? Yeah. I think that's very entertaining. Yeah. Um, yeah. It lasts way longer than other things in a relationship. <laughs> wow. But doesn't that become sometimes contradicting because ab kabhi you are not coming to the same page at all? I mean, if you have to eat gulab jamun, you have to eat it. And if you have to eat it, you have to eat it. I don't know, you have to eat it. Like, does that not sort of obstruct? No, then we eat it in the same <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I think. Got it. I think yeah. I think it's it's um it's also the chemistry. It's yeah. The, uh, how you want to treat your yeah. woman or how the woman wants to treat you. Yeah. So there's always a balance. Uh, there are certain things that uh, you know as a man, um, you know you would want to decide on, and then there are certain things that I do not think that any man should ever decide. Right. Mostly bigger decisions in life, and it's better kept to the women to decide that. And I'm very glad. <laughs> 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 so I think that balance is, it works. There's so many things to take away from today. Certain things that we've learnt also. Also suddenly I'm feeling like an independent strong woman. I have more to do now. I have to take the big decisions also. You decide where to eat food, Karan. Exactly. Yes. Achha, thank you Karan for that, that lovely answer. Uh, Daisy, for you. What's the most thoughtful gift? जो आपने किसी को दिया जब आप डेट कर रहे थे। शायद उस समय उस समय के लिए काफी थॉटफुल था और अब शायद नहीं है। बहुत क्लिशे है पर इट्स द टाइम। ओह वाव इट्स नॉट क्लिशे एट ऑल। टाइम इज़ नेवर गोइंग टू गो आउट ऑफ़ फैशन। जब आप मिलेगा और क्या? नो बट ये 
यू नो जनरली इंटेलेक्चुअल लोगों से ऐसे ही जवाब एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं पर नहीं सच्ची में बिकॉज आई वॉज बिलीव यू मी आई वॉज आई वेन आई वॉज एन असिस्टेंट कोरियोग्राफर आई वॉज वर्किंग थ्री शिफ्ट इन अ डे विच मीन्स आई नॉट स्लेप फॉर फिफ्टीन डेज एट अ स्ट्रेच उसके बीच में जब पॉइंट ए से पॉइंट बी जाते थे तो बीच में रिक्शा में जो टाइम सोने का मिलता था वो टाइम पे हम बात करते थे नो सो आई फील सारी चीज़ें आप खुद से खरीद सकते हो सब कुछ कर सकते हो पर एक टाइम एक ऐसी चीज़ है ना आप कभी भी उसको ट्रेड नहीं कर सकते हो किसी भी चीज़ के लिए सो इट्स द टाइम या आई थिंक इट्स एक्सेप्शनल बेसिक बट एक्सेप्शनल आंसर डेजी थैंक यू ये सवाल आपके लिए सुना ली ऑल्सो योर ग्लोइंग I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. I <laughs> wonder. I had a big lunch. <laughs> That's right. So did I. You know. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> so, Nali, how many times? And I'm not just saying this because you're such a beautiful person. I also want to break the mold. But how many times have you friend zoned people in your life? If you had to give like a random figure, आपने कितनी बार friend zone किया है किसी को? मतलब कितने लोगों को किया है? so apparently all the time और ये this is this is new confusion confusion ही नहीं है this is new revelation to me in very recent times and um, a, a friend of mine actually Sahil told me this he's like uh, he calls me Bob he's like Bob you know you just boys are scared of you yeah <laughs> you don't I, I'm like what do you mean scared they're like yeah. yeah because I see how you are when people I said no that's because people know that I'm dating Ashish since so many years and now married she's like he's like no not even before that so apparently I have some boy repellent vibe और मुझे ना आधे टाइम एक्चुअली समझ नहीं आता है मुझे जेनुनली नहीं समझ आता है आई बीन टोल्ड कि मेरी लुक बहुत स्टर्न है और ऐसा है नहीं आई एम कम्प्लीटली दी ऑपोजिट आई एम वेरी वेरी स्वीट सो नाउ आई स्टार्टेड लाइक नॉट स्केरिंग पीपल ऑफ so i would say all the time all the time all the time well uh, wo boys ke ka ke ka matlab kismat thi ki wo aap se friend zone hue hain so that also is cool so can we please clap for sonali sonali also i'm yeah i i like to i like to be on stage and uh, just give compliments i think they deserve it much more than we give them uh, ab yahan pe aapke samne fima ke kuch luxury fittings aane wali hain aur uh, main aapka dhyan is taraf aakarshit karna chahungi is taraf और यहाँ पे ये जो लग्जरी फिटिंग्स हैं आपको केवल चूज करना है कि आपको अपने घर में कौन सा चाहिए और फीमा के बहुत ही खूबसूरत लोग जो हैं वो आपके लिए वो काम कर देंगे मैं कुछ समझाने की कोशिश करती हूँ लेट जस्ट ब्रिंग योर अटेंशन करण आई थिंक यू वुड लव समथिंग कॉल द शावर नॉट बिकॉज यू नीड अ नो बिकॉज इट्स अ वेरी कोल्ड लुकिंग शावर ये दो टाइप्स हैं ऑफकोर्स एज अ फॉसेट बट ये जो शावर ऐसे जो बटन है देख के लगता है एलिवेटर के है नहीं ये शावर का बटन है सो व्हाट वुड यू लाइक करण देयर मोर थिंग्स टू राइट आई लाइक आई लाइक आई लाइक टू हैव चॉइसेस इवन फॉर अ शावर ऑलवेज ओके अह हमारे पास में वी आल्सो हैव द बेसिन मिक्सर व्हिच इज दिस वी आल्सो हैव द गोल्डन बेसिन मिक्सर व्हिच इज दिस एंड ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज आल्सो अ बेसिन मिक्सर बट इट हैज सम एंटीक pista color knobs yeah. which one would you like karan i think i'll take the basin mixer it's yes can we quirky. clap for karan and the basin mixer yeah. i think it's a very aesthetic choice um if i were to ask you crystal uh i like the shower it's very interesting i know right it looked like lights to me yeah. but it's a shower so it's, it's very light, very light bhi hai us mein i'm sure it's very light bhi hai yeah. wow that will be a fancy shower <laughs> run knows a lot i just made my house <laughs> so i really like that it's interesting it doesn't look like your typical shower yeah it's yeah it's fancy. a it's a good yeah it's it a good like one so hurt you. crystal ke liye crystal ke liye taali aur crystal ke liye shower daisy which one are you picking i think i like the faucet yeah This one? No, the one niche. This one. Uncomplicated jewelry. Oh, lovely. <laughs> old school. Is it? I'm old school. Only person who picked this. Yeah, it gave time. Yeah, faucet. Yeah, जो जवाब. I can't do that mixer. मुझको नहीं समझ में. कभी बहुत गर्म हो जाता है, बहुत ठंडा हो जाता है. I like that. इधर घुमाओ, उधर घुमाओ, हो गया ख़तम. Daisy is simple. Daisy wants it simple. Simple is the best. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. के लिए और इस faucet के लिए. So Nali. I also like that light wala shower. Yeah. It's actually. करण का है ये इन्वेंशन क्या है है 
Can we be, please, please clap for this panel? But can we also have um, some plaques? Lekin usse pehle, uh, Karan, there is this. Uh, there is this. Winner of our Smoor contest, which is called Megha Shivastava Khare. And Karan Kundra, I would like you to present her with a Smoor hamper. So, can I have Megha on stage? Thank you. Thank you, Megha. Can we have some plaques so that uh, our esteemed guests can remember today? Thanks, you guys, for joining us, and thank you for that very, very insightful practice. Thank you.